Hey, hey, this is Kurt out here in a brand new 2020 North River Fastback. They're kind of cool. Uh, the way they did the top on that, they put a lot of curves into it. They got a radar arch up on top. It's got the gold wing door up on top with the window, sky window. Front door, you got your long post out there, two of them. That's a smart idea for window stop instead of just having one on the bottom and then it gets twigged. Big wipers, uh, got rails, got the anchor guard up front. I like the color, kind of a persimmons orange, kind of VHF antenna, stainless steel, ratchet mount. You got side windows uh, with screens. You see with the fast back how it kind of curves. <clears throat> it's got grab handles right there where the holes are. Uh, full paint, and if you notice, they weld all the way up underneath here. They leave the paint away from the bottom and then they weld that. That's so no corrosion can get underneath the paint, which is a good idea. <clears throat> got the top mount coupler. Yeah, you got your brake fluids up underneath here. This has got to be pulled all the way out. Uh, brake fluid was good, standard flip, top coupler. That means you need about eh, 22 inches from the bottom to the top. Two inch ball, peek-a-poo hole. Swing tongue, put a padlock on that. Just keep the honest people honest. Uh, when you do unfold that and you fold it back, make sure you tuck the trailer wires in so it doesn't pinch. You got the two-speed Fulton, which are nice. Uh, you don't, uh, you got two, you pull that hand out and you get a super, super low speed. Uh, you should never have to crank this. Got the safety chain, tongue jab. Uh, you got two by six slicks, two of those on your bunk, double dip galvanized, heavy duty, probably 5,000 pound trailer. Gear bath oil hubs, brown good, white bad. Five lugs, eight or five lugs, about 80 pounds. Tire pressure 50. They're ST20575 R14s. You got a two-step dive ladder. You got trim tabs. And there's your transducer right there. And those uh, electro tabs. And you can mount transducers there, but it's better under there because it keeps the splash down. It's got hydraulic steering. And that there is Sea Star good. They went to Sea Star trim. You got a 15 by 15 by 15, I think, pitch prop. Yep. You can tell because they're pretty close. It is aluminum. Inline 200. Total saltwater protected. Both of these motors. Your 200's got uh, zincs each cylinder on the block. You got zinc up underneath. Stainless prop shaft, drive shaft. Two coats of clear, two primer main coat on both motors. 11 by 7 on this little kicker 99 remote. Uh, we don't have the control box in this yet. Uh, so it's already wired. The cables are on inside, so they just have to hook it up. Uh, so I haven't, I'll haven't. i fire it up, but I won't be able to steer it. Oh, I could a little bit, I guess, because you can steer with that main motor. Uh, i got zinc bars on the very back. This is an 18 by 42 degree hole. Uh, it's a 102 beam, 35 inch sides. Bottom's 84. Uh, the thickness is uh, 0.240 on the bottom, and you got uh, 160 on the sides, 190 on the transom. And like I say, it's an 18 by 42 variable, and it's a 70 gallon fuel cell. Uh, gear oil hub is good again. Chine guides run on the chine, which is this right here. Guides so it doesn't rub on the side of your boat, which is really, really, really nice. Okay, what else do I got here? And then you got the Yamaha tack. I'll show you that when I get inside there. I think the max force power is about 300. The weight is about two, uh, 2,600 pounds, six people. And I think I went through everything else there. So, we'll get in the boat, and I'll show you some stuff there. And here's your serial number. NRB is North River Boats. Two one is 21 foot. The last two is two zero. That's the year. And then we'll get up in here, put this here, a large fish box with a divider, and then that's an option, you can get a pole for that if you like, you got downrigger brackets there, your tie downs, and I'm going to put this right in here because I'm going to use this, got two suspensions with swivels and backs that recline, there's your boxes for your VH115 and your 94SV, which I'll program that when I'm out there. You got trim tabs. And then this here, you just unlock that. Unlock that. There's your gold wing. Really cool. 
then he, he made a grab handle so you can grab that and you just lock it back down again just go like that go like that and i'll show you the electronics and how to run the boat in the mouth there touch up paint grab handle your backdrop is in there sliding windows you got your dome light right here and i think that's on that switch right here so fuel gauge i think he went to an interface yamaha so it's on here so i got to get that in there there's your trim coat trim tabs or electro tabs you can go to one at a time you barely touch these there you go if you want them all the way up you just hit it once and they go all the way up Beep. horn works bilge works wipers work anchor light work yep finder that's to turn that on i'll show you that later interior light i'm gonna leave that one on for a second dome light and there it is there's your dome light the other way if you switch it up there then it turns into the white one interior lights are these lights right here on the side i don't know if you can see them this white color right here see if i turn it off boom then it's got um, your electronics is right here and there's your vhf this is an hour you got your oil you got your water you got your trim you got your tag and i'm going to see if this has this if I, I go over here to hours right here if i hold this one two three yep it does it and then i hold one two three it ain't running but this does have the vts as well uh, and fuel tanks up underneath there you got a fish box here to fill that up if you go into here you'll see a valve way back into there if it's like this that means water can come in and go out as you go if you close it no water will come in so what you can do is you can let as much water as you want and then close that valve you shut off switches there these are the cables for the kickers you got dual batteries shut off switch yamaha 10 micron i already primed it up uh change that once a year no matter what uh, and stick with yamaha that's one thing i'll say once a year replace that uh, change your oil once a year and you shouldn't have an issue here's your wash down pump right there that works so now we're going to go to the water and set up the electronics and the vhf and do all the stats boat doctor out